and the services they offer, and the key people's introduction and their contact information. We hope this database will provide convenience for our members to search for direct information to create new partnership and business opportunities. Here, I would like to invite every one of you to visit our new website and encourage you to enrich our database content together with us. Many of the features of the new website and the database are open for the participation and the cooperation from our members. Please help us make our website and the database even better. Last but not least, I would like to take this moment to acknowledge our partners, including Ali Cloud, Newsoft, Xinhua News Agency, China Daily, China News Services, among many others. I hope you enjoyed today's lunch event. Please feel free to talk to our CTCC team members for any comments, questions, and suggestions. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Chu. Now, let's welcome Mr. Chao Chi, the IT Manager Developer and also a very important team member of CGCC to give us an introductory presentation of the new website database. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Cao Chi. I'm the IT Manager at uh, CGCC. And today, I'm honored to introduce a new website to you. Now, let's get started. Right. So in order to build the next generation Chamber of Commerce, we built four new functions. Today's timelines, FDI track and investment data, CGCC insights, business server report. And we did three upgrades, the regionals, event materials, layout and colors. And we have two new extensions, the WeChat newsletter, and one new interactive platform, the China-US Investment Database. So, first one is today's headlines. In these new functions, we recommend the most relevant news to our members. We bring the new technology, Deep Neural Network, to, bring our mem uh, to benefit our mem uh, members. And here's the code. More information has been produced in the last 30 years than in the previous 5,000. A weekday edition of the New York Times has more information in it than the average 17th century man and woman would have come across in, in her lifetime. Reuters Business Information Ltd, 1996. So as you can see, this is a code from about over 20 years ago. Needless to say, right now, we have too much information to process. We see this pain point and we bring the solution. Now we bring the deep neural, deep neural network technology to help our members to filter out those noises. Once we have this information, we have our editors to handpick the most relevant news for our members. We then distributed this to our users. And we understand we can do something visually. That's why we build this word cloud. As you can see on the screen, the bigger the text, the more frequent this word appeared in the news. So when you look at this word cloud, you can quickly have a rough idea about what people are talking about, what are these heated topics. And when you hover over this text, the text is going to be magnified so you can have a clear look. And I think we can do even better. We offer one more option for you to read news on your device. And that's you can read the news. And I think I really love this feature. And this is an experimental feature, so just now pretty, pretty quickly show you how it works. So you can access uh, our site on like mobile device. So right now I'm access uh, this page on my uh, cell phone. I'm gonna read this news for you. Uh, I mean, this is just a, a screenshot. There's another news. China ambassador How are opening up is helping world economy. Kui Shian K, 19th National Chinese Communist Party Congress will highlight how China's opening up helps world economy. So this is the news from yesterday. Uh, as you can listen, this is a boy is a bit robotic. 
<laughs> but uh, this, it depends on your device. I'm using iPhone, but if you are using other Android or other uh, Mac OS, you will have different voices. And this is experimental features, and we'd love to uh, we'd love you to try it out and give us feedbacks. And this is bilingual supported. If you switch to the Chinese site, uh, the Chinese language, they will read Chinese. Okay, next uh, is the CGCC FDI tracker and US 50 states investment data. This is a platform we've been building. We, in this platform, we make those deals real. So as I mentioned earlier, we face the uh, issue is that the information is too excessive. And to benefit our members, we did the an uh, analysis for you. And another issue we face is that there's like too many deals and you don't have a platform to promote your deals. That's why we also solve this for you. You can post your deals on our platform. So if you look at the big picture, we analyze the investment context for you and you can post your deals. And our members can find their favorite deals based on the big context. And also you can post your deals. And we also provide interactive charts and heat maps. Compared to the traditional graphs and charts, just static, it's so boring. But right now, we bring the interactive charts. We hover over these bars and lines. You can just see those numbers. Same as the heat maps, we just hover over each state. You can see the numbers. And next is the business server report. Uh, we've been releasing the business server report since 2014, and it's a great product. But it's kind of a little bit boring to read. That's why we bring the data visualization technology to this business server report. This report is very easy to read. If you look at that, we have over all the bars and charts. You can just see the numbers. I personally feel like this is very fun to watch. I can just play around for a very long time. And next is the CGCC Insights. In these new functions, uh, more columns. Uh, we bring our outstanding members and representatives to let them share their insightful thoughts on some heated topics. So for example, there's like something uh, big happening. And uh, as the audience, you know these topics, and you have your own understandings, but you want to hear some from some other perspectives. And sometimes you can't find this perspective. And we solve this for you. We bring all outstanding members to let them share their own thoughts, stories, experiences. And we offer you a unique angle to look at the topics. <coughs> And next is the regionals. The integration CGCs is more reachable than ever. Let's just imagine you live in California and you don't know which, re, uh, which CGCC region it belongs to. And what you can do is just go to this page and just hover over where you live. You can find which uh, regionals belong to and you can find all the information you want. For example, this one, CGCC Houston, you can just see all the areas included. And on the bottom part, uh, you can see all their uh, newsletters, upcoming events, and the news postings. It's very convenient. Next is the CGCC event materials. Uh, that's really the archive you've been looking for. Let's just imagine you just attend an event and you really love the speaker's keynotes, and you want to download the keynotes, but where do you find it? And we see this issue, that's why we build this. For example, you just uh, attend the Launch and Learn China album mergers and acquisitions, and you just love the PowerPoint, and uh, you can go to this page and to download it. And as you can see, we added a features, we hover over the title of the document, you can see a snapshot of this document. What is it about? 
this is very convenient to help you uh, quickly find the documents you want. Right, that's pretty much of the four new functions. And next, uh, I'm gonna introduce the China US Investment and Tour Cushion Database. This is the information center that Google uh, can help you in a way Google can't. So sometimes we are looking for some information. Intuitively, you go on Google. But sometimes the information on Google is not what you want. That's why we have this one. And our members can post their members' information on the website, including uh, basic company information and products and services. And key people introduction, business contacts, and branch information. And I think we can do one step further. We give our members another way to promotion their products and services. That's why they can post their own news. And after you post your news, uh, it will be reviewed by over CGCC staff. Uh, once it's uh, approved, it's going to be on the website. And there's one more thing. We think the more you post, you, sh you should have a better position to display on our website. This is a way to motivate you to post more news. So uh, when, a, uh, when a user search your uh, company information on the website, there's an order. It's, uh, initially, it's alphabetic order. And, but with the more news you post, your order will be higher. So please feel free to post more news of your company. It's, it's a great opportunity to pronounce yourself. Right, so uh, next is a database demo. Just gonna quickly show you how the database looks like. Oh, this is a workout I'm talking. I was talking about. Okay, so this is the database, as you can see. You can search by uh, company names or key people, and you can filter on this regions, industry, or by type. And at this page below are our members' news. If you post your news, this is uh, ordered by uh, time. This is the latest news. So if you search something, you can just type it and search. And we already opened up an example. It's on CGCC. You can, so you can see the basic information here. And other information here. You can click on the key people, and location in US. So this is the front end. And for the, uh, because time is limited, so I just recorded the video for the back end. You can just take a look. This is the uh, added. And you can just add all this information. Just click save. And you can edit the key people information. You can add more key people. And the contact information is uh, CGC's internal use only. As you can see, there's uh, if you hover over the button, you can see the Chinese. And you can just add uh, all the branch information. And you can also preview. branch as many as you want. And don't forget to save changes after you edit it. And I can just uh, talk about a little bit about our uh, layout upgrade and the color schemes. For the best browsing experiences, uh, we use more photos and less text. As you can see, the photos pretty much dominate the space. And our members will receive maximum information within minimum period of time. 
and we support bilingual. No matter which page are you in, you can just switch between Chinese and English, Chinese and English, Chinese and English. And we know that more and more people build the website on their cell phones and tablets, so we make sure all the, our website fits all your device. You can just look at our website at, uh, on your pad, iPhone, whatever. And the new color scheme, we believe like a comfortable browsing experience. The color scheme is the foundation. That's why we find inspirations from the nature. And that's how we design the CGCC blue. When you look at our website, the entire color is consistent. And the color scheme's name is the CGCC blue. And we really appreciate your uh, feedbacks. Uh, so if you look on our website, the um, sidebar, there's the place specifically for you to fill out those feedbacks. And, and we think our uh, members' interests are our top priority. We will think our members first. And the reason we improve is because of our members' help. So uh, please help us and uh, build a better website. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Please follow us on WeChat. There's a QR code there. Thank you so much, William. <coughs> and I know that it's a lot of information in the past 15 minutes. And um, I know that many of you may have questions, however, because of time limit. So there is no open Q&A sections in this event. However, the CGC staff, <coughs> we are all here. So if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to talk to us, and also we encourage you to try it, use it, and feel it to help us make it even better. Thank you so much, William. And now, let's welcome Mr. Ji Tao, Editor-in-Chief and President of China Daily USA to give us a speech. Good morning, everyone, and uh, it's really um, a pleasure to uh, be here to with, uh, with everyone here. First of all, I'd like to congratulate CGCC team for the great job you have done. Uh, as someone who has been with the media industry for a long time, I know how much effort you have to spend to make uh, to make this uh, to deliver this website. It's professional and also user friendly, and also I like the color, like uh, uh, like you mentioned, it's uh, ocean blue. I like it. So, first of all, congratulations for the great job. Secondly, I believe this website would be very important for business communities here, uh, especially Chinese communities, who are looking forward to, to start and expect their businesses in the United States. And I believe this would be extremely important for these, uh, the growing uh, population of Chinese communities. And thirdly, I want to mention that this website would also be very important for media organizations like China Daily. I mean, we are dedicated to follow uh, the growth and growth, a uh, growing trend of the Chinese investments in the United States. So this website and the database will definitely provide a full picture of the Chinese investment in the United States. And also, it will help us to understand, to uh, analyze the growing trend of this strong uh, investment uh, in, the, uh, in the state. And lastly, I want to mention this website and also the database were equally important to the uh, American side here, to the general public here. Because by looking into these data and also news related to Chinese investments, definitely people will get more understanding of how Chinese investments has been benefiting the U.S. economy as well. And also to look to understand how, the, how these two largest economy of, uh, economies of the world has been interacting with each other, has been uh, helping each other. So I think, uh, I mean, the last four points would be, would be my uh, very short speech. So again, congratulations for your job. And also we're looking forward to working with CDCC on the uh, website and also the new database. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chihau, for the encouragement. 
Now, let's welcome Mr. Zhou Shanqing, the Economic and Commercial Counselor of Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in New York, to give us a closing remark. Dear guest, good morning. I'm very impressed with your website, and indeed, feel with joy this morning because because of the potential of this new website and the China-U.S. investment cooperation database has in assisting our business community to interact better and to serve companies more efficiently. So on behalf of the Council of General of the People's Republic of China in New York, I want to extend to you all my warmest congratulations. For this new online resource is an innovative tool to promote our entrepreneur and easier way to learn about the US market. The tool and feel of the new website heralds the new substantive CGCC. More service oriented, more committed to maintaining and raising standards while improving performance. More receptive and responsive to the needs of the members that you serve. Having a tool to closely follow the hot topics and data on the China-US investment is one of the most important requirements for this endeavor to succeed. Now, for the first time, all information on the China-US investment is available in one place with a few simple clicks of the mouse. It will encourage companies to learn from each other's experience. It will harness the power of the internet to advance our shared development goal. It will help increase public access and attention to the China-US commercial and economic cooperation. In a nutshell, your remarkable work inspires action. Thank you for affording us the opportunity to learn from your valuable information. Ladies and gentlemen, in the course of the development of China-U.S. economic and trade relations, Chinese companies are solid supporter, builder, and promoter. Chinese enterprises have take, taken their own unique advantage and have been working diligently between the China and US business communities to promote exchanges and cooperation in the fields of investment and trade. With this, I would like to pay specific tribute to the team at CGCC who worked unceasingly to make this new website and database a reality and a special appreciation must be expressed to Mr. Xu Cheng for his commitment and passion to this challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, the fall of 2017 is a special season with important landmark events. The 19th CPC National Congress just kicked off in Beijing yesterday and President Donald Trump will be making his first state visit to China in November. I always believe that tomorrow will be better for China-US relations. I would like to call on everybody to work together to make China-US economic and trade relations a great success. With the launch of this new tool, we are starting this journey. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Zhou Thank you for your kind words. 
Now, thank you all for coming here and showing your support to CGCC. And that will be the end of the launch event. Now, thank you all for coming.